If you don't want to be one of those people rushing out to Target at the last minute, just throwing crap from the dollar spot into your cart, run into the back to gather the last four things that are in the Christmas section to stuff into your children's stocking, only to immediately regret it Christmas morning when you're like, why did I buy them that annoying like horn or whatever it is that you bought because it was the only thing you could find because you forgot about stockings or you saved stockings for the last minute. This video is for you, my friend. I am sharing with you non-junky stocking stuffers for your kids plus some gift ideas. If you don't want to listen to me talk and you just want to find the things, you can find them all linked down below in the description box and or you can go over to my website and find all of my gift guides over there. Stocking stuffers, kids, husband, women, weirdos, whatever you're looking for, I got all the gift guides over my website, okay? To me, non-junky stocking stuffers are not necessarily things that are not plastic, anything like that. It's that they are open-ended play, they inspire curiosity, creativity. Um, they are not just like a mind-numbing thing, it's something to play, to do, to just encourage important parts of like childhood development. Toys and things like that can get a bad rap. I feel like these days it's like no toys, all toys are bad, just get rid of toys, just give your kids a box and a marker. Sure, they will have fun with that. There's a lot of toys that do actually help encourage important things developmentally for our kids, so I am in no way against toys. I just wanna say that. Inevitably, somebody's gonna be like, that's junk. Well, it's not junk to me, and that hurts my feelings. It doesn't. Also, some of these things I'm not going to, in fact, open. I'm just going to show you because, well, they are for my own children, so I don't wanna open their things before Christmas. Uh, the first thing is a Jacob's Ladder. Did y'all have one of these growing up as a kid? I did, I loved it. My mom used to like, I think she sold Discovery toys. So a few of these things were actually things that I had as a child that I think were from Discovery Toys. Maybe they weren't. This is very fun, okay? It's an illusion. It's an optical illusion. Fascinating, fun, perform tricks. It's like a, it's not really quite like a yo-yo, but kind of. Yo-yos. I don't have that on here, but that would make a great stocking stuffer. So add that to your, to your mental list. Totally something they can just sit on the sofa, play with, play with in the car. Kind of just to me like a rite of passage kind of a toy. I purchased and I again don't want to open these because they are for my own children, but I got two stopwatches for my oldest boys. I'm well aware that most kids these days probably have some kind of a tablet or phone or something and it's like, why would I buy my kid a stopwatch? They have a stopwatch built in on their phone. Well, two reasons. One, they're not gonna use it in the same way as they will an actual like cool stopwatch with the little buttons on the top. There's a lot of cool things about technology, a lot of cool things that they've distilled down into an app on this phone, but some of those apps need to be brought back into real life. And I think calculators, stopwatches, are those kinds of things that can actually make the brain function differently off of a device. And stopwatches encourage all kinds of fun play and games and getting outside and challenging each other, all the things that kids love. Fighting, they love it, okay? Um, also, speaking of getting outside, I purchased a, uh, I purchased one of these actually, so let me just mention that I have eight children, six of which are the youngest six that play together a lot. So to avoid some of the fighting where I can and where it makes sense, I try to get them each one of something so that I don't have to listen to the fighting. And that's what I'm talking about here with the magnifying glass. It comes in a pack of three. So I purchased two of the three packs of the magnifying glasses. These are all listed in my Amazon shop. Everything's broken down into like lists. So you can go see like everything I have for non junky stocking stuffers, everything I have for gifts for men, gifts for women, etc. These are come in a pack of three. So I got two of those. So each of my kids has one. They take them outside. They look at bugs. They have fun. They look at things inside. I don't even need to tell you all the things that a child will do with a magnifying glass. They will have fun with that. And these, by the way, are not at all junky they are heavy like the weight of this is heavy it feels like very durable uh, I don't even think my boys could could break these this glass is like super thick definitely great quality on those very pleasantly surprised by that this is not a stocking stuffer this is actually a gift for my six-year-old daughter but it would fit in a stocking so it might make a great stocking stuffer for one of your kids it is a pocket microscope my daughter loves bugs she loves nature she loves all the things and she's always catching and gathering all these little things. And I knew she would love having something like this that she can take outside and get a little closer look at all the bugs and critters that she finds all the time. Let's go throw back another little hot second here. Do y'all remember these? I got these come in a three pack. I had one of these as a kid, loved it so much. This one has like glowy, I don't, I guess I have to put it on the track for you to see. It has like a flashing light. Mine as a kid did not have a flashing light. I loved this thing, it was so fun. Comes in a three pack, so I got two packs of three of these. It really does, like it takes a little skill to not get it to like go all the way off the end. You have to like 
you have to find the right balance with it to make it go. These are super fun. I love these, great stocking stuffer. The next thing I will mention is this six pack, see what I did there again, six, one for each of the kids, um, of magnetic wands. And the thing I want to encourage you and remind you of with these is that you'll see it says pre-K three plus, and I'm giving these to four years all the way up to 12 years is how old the kids are that will be getting one of these. Remember that the ages on these are like the ages where it's appropriate to start playing with them, not the age of which they should stop playing with them or using them. Um, so I just wanna remind you of that because I do feel like people get kind of weird sometimes about like the age things on toys. It just doesn't need to be that way. Like my kids just continue to play with stuff. If I'm not there telling them that, that's, that they're too old to play with that, then they will just keep playing with, especially something like this. It's a magnetic wand. I would have fun with this. So you might be thinking like, well, what are my kids gonna do with those? You're about to find out, okay? Give them five minutes with this thing. Maybe they open it and they go, what is this? You go, it's a magnetic wand. They're like, okay, thanks. And they put it down. And then an hour later, you're in the kitchen, you're making sausage biscuit balls, and you look over and these kids have found like five new things to do with these magnetic wands. If we just give the kids the tools for creativity, they will find the creative thing to do. You don't need to direct that. And that's what I love about things like that, gifts like that. Next up, we have this Color My Bath. These are little tablets that go in the bathtub to color the water. And these are uh, non-staining as well as eco-friendly. They use food safe coloring and never add soaps or perfumes to them. So they are safe to put into the tub with ages three plus. Definitely don't wanna put that in the tub with a little one, but it's fun. It colors the bath. My kids love stuff like that. They love the like bath fizzies. I will add to in the description box and then also into my Amazon shop some of the bath fizzies that I got my kids last year, they loved them. I got these cool ones that are like a white cloud and then when they run them through the water after a few minutes, the cloud dissipates and this like fizzy rainbow thing comes out. They love it, it makes bath time fun. The other thing I got is this little set here, a six pack of mini LED flashlights. My kids are always like going in the junk drawer, trying to get a flashlight and my husband and I are getting annoyed because we need to know if that flashlight's there in case of an emergency, blah, blah, blah. These are great, they take AAA batteries, they just click on and off on the bottom. They're brand new, I'm putting them in the stocking so I don't have the um, batteries in them. But it's great because your kids can stick these like in their little, my kids have like little baskets over their bed or in their nightstand or under their pillow. They can use them when they get up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom or they can just use them to play and do all the things that kids like to do with flashlights. I'm not telling you what your kids are gonna do with this stuff, but they are gonna go off and play with it. It's like, oh, they got a flashlight and a magnetic stick and a magnifying glass, what am I gonna do? While initially some kids might be like, I don't know, hours of endless fun to be found with these kinds of things. If we can just like give our kids the tools to like go forth and play and be creative. This I just wanna share with you because I shared it last year and y'all bought the heck out of these and loved them. So I wanted to share it again. We call it the bone comb. It's called a bonehead <laughs> comb and brush. In my house, it's the bone comb. It opens, you have like the multiple layers of thicker bristles and then the single layer of thinner bristles. So, but it looks like a dinosaur head, the bone comb. They also have like a shark. My children just, they love ours. Our puppy did chew up the front end of it. It still works, but it's a little snarly. So I bought another one because they're not terribly expensive. This was in my stocking stuffer video last year and y'all loved it. So I definitely wanted to just toss it in here and mention it. I also wanna mention a couple of games because I think stockings are a great place to stick some games for your kids to play, card games, dice games, and the like. Farkle, this is the like travel version of Farkle. You, what just beeped? This is like the travel version of Farkle. You can get the boxed version, uh, but this is great for, you know, again, taking with you, going out, whatever. And it's just a dice game. It's uh, eight plus and two or more players, but it's just a dice rolling and risk taking dice game. Fun for children. And then I also have, where'd it go? I'm scared to move. I also got my boys this card game called Cover Your Assets. It's like a uh, cover your steal theirs. It's a building assets and you try to like protect your assets and take other people's assets. It's uh, two to six players, ages seven to 99, takes 20 to 40 minutes to play. And again, this one has the classic and new advanced rules for play. Fun game, something different for the kids. Get them, if you're like me and you're just always trying to find things to 
encourage your kids to like have fun off of devices and tablets. Like sure, I can limit the time that they can be on those things, but when they're not on them, I want them to like have fun in the world and do the things, a lot of the fun things that I remember doing as a kid. So this is something that I think a lot of people might be tempted to think is junk. These are pop tubes dogs. They are little weenie dogs with the pop tube in the middle. But if you have a fidgeter or a sensory sensitive child, this is a great like sensory fidget toy, no matter the age. These are great. It comes in a four pack. I think there are some other animals or whatever for these, but I liked the weenie dogs. It felt very like on brand for the pop tube to be a weenie dog. The other thing I want to mention is some art stuff. My kids are really big into art and painting and drawing and coloring and all of that. It's really like their number one pastime. Art is one of the go-tos in our house. So I loved these mini doodle pads because they will fit in a stocking. It comes in a four pack. Um, I have these again in the stocking list on my Amazon shop, but I will look and see if I can find some of the off brands as well. I got some of this, a lot of this stuff during the Black Friday, Cyber Monday. So it was all on sale and the Melissa and Doug stuff is great. I love this because it's like a super heavyweight paper. There's also like, I think some cheaper versions as well. So I'll try to add some of the other versions into the shop for you, but these are great for art and drawing and all the things. And speaking of, these are quick sticks paints. So this is a solid paint. If paint annoys the crap out of you like it does me from time to time. These dry in 90 seconds, they come in three different sizes and they also come in different colors. So you can do like metallic, neon, or the classic colors. They're washable, mess free, and they dry in 90 seconds. So it's like a solid paint. It's a great alternative to wet, messy paints if you get annoyed by those or perhaps are just in a situation where that does not make good sense. Those are some of my ideas for stocking stuffers. Again, card games, you know, things that they can do and play that are very open-ended. Uh, those are my favorite kind of stocking stuffers to give my kids. I also give candy. Um, I'm a big believer. I love giving candy. It's consumable, so it's gone. It's not adding to too much of like the junk. Plus it's just like very traditional feeling to us. I got candy in my stocking every year as a kid growing up. I came to expect it. We got certain kind of candy. So that's kind of the tradition that we've started with our kids. They all kind of know like what kind of candy they're gonna get in their stocking and they love that. Before we move on to toys, I do again want to just mention that You'll notice that there's no like age brackets on this video. I didn't say that these are gift ideas, stocking stuffers for kids ages five to 10, because I'm just a big believer in that, you know, my children will all play because they have like so many siblings in this age range. They all kind of play with things, you know, on and off and in different scenarios. So, and every kid is different. So I just don't, I feel like you know your kid. And if I'm, if I show you something, you will be like, ah, my kid would really like that. So I didn't want to like, put an age on it and make it restrictive in that way. This is great, I love this. This is called Super Skills. It is for kids eight plus, two to 10 players, 30 to 60 minutes. You know when, like when I, my, co my cousins, when my sister's kids, my kids' cousins come over, we have eight kids, she has eight, soon to be nine. When the boys come over, like the first thing they do is go outside and beat each other with swords. And then when they're done with that, they come inside and they're like, I'm bored. Um, can we play with our Game Boy? And I'm like, no, you cannot, because that's just you playing the Game Boy while your cousin watches. We're not doing that. This is really fun because this is like a competitive skills game. It's great for any kid. I'm not saying that girls wouldn't enjoy this, but I definitely feel like little boys are gonna love this, or big boys. Uh, my husband, I know, would absolutely love playing this. So it's play and become a super skills pro. You be the first person to complete 10 fun challenges to win, Bounce a ball into a tower of cups, stack a pyramid while blindfolded, balance three dice on chopsticks, and much more. Real in the physical world, kind of like skills and little challenges that they are doing and competing with each other in. And it's great uh, for kids who are like, I'm bored when they've got friends over or something. It's like, well, go do the challenges. And of course, this is like plastic cups, straws, balls, things like that. Should they lose or break something, I can replace it and this is all still usable because it's fairly like household-esque items inside of it. Some of the other things that I got my kids, you can tell probably that I really encourage my children to get outside and play. Even this could probably be played in the house fairly safely. why they make that such a tongue twister? Sky rock a copter? The helicopter sky rocket copter thing. You put it on the top, you pull the string and it spins it up in the air. Again, I had something very much like this as a child and loved it. This comes in a pack of two. So you get two of the handles, two large spinners, two small ones. So I got two packages of these for my kids to share and play with outside. We're encouraging the fun 
go outside kind of play. I think this is a great gift. This is for one of my boys. This is from Beavercraft. It's a whittling and chip carving kit. So it's for whittling wood. Uh, you know your child. I don't know that they put an age on this box. You know your child. You know if it's appropriate or safe. These are small, um, but they can, I'm sure, do damage if in the hands of someone that you do not trust to have them. That's a great gift for a little boy is a wood carving kit. Can I whittle wood with you, sir? Some of the other things that haven't arrived or I cannot show you because of the way they are boxed is this really cool jumble, jumble, Jungle Gym Kingdom swing, but it's got like a disc at the bottom that the kids stand on. So my kids have one of the big ones that you lay on, but this one is just the disc at the bottom with the knots and the rope. So they hold on to the knots and their feet go on. So it's like a standing swing. It looks really fun, very affordable. And if you've got a good safe place to hang it, I know my kids are gonna love this because they that's what they try to do with the, the old wood swing I have out here and that one, they all stand on it anyways. Binoculars, last year I got each of my kids a pair of binoculars. They love them. Uh, there's a lot of different versions at different price ranges, but I got them each a decent pair uh, because they like bird watching and doing all that kind of stuff. So those could fit in a stocking or could just be a regular gift depending on the size and you know value. In our house, stocking stuffers tend to be affordable, cheap. I don't put like any of their pricier gifts, no matter the size, in their stockings. That's just how I do it. These other, these are called Flybar Maverick Walking Stilts for Kids. I really like these because I got my kids a pogo stick last year for Christmas and only a couple of my kids can do it. I'm not gonna just toot my own horn here, but toot toot, I was the pogo queen as a child. Incidentally, not as the adult. I tried it last year, fell on my back, knocked the wind out of myself, and thank God I fell into the grass and not on the cement driveway. It was very embarrassing. My kids still laugh about it. It was very embarrassing. To be fair, the pogo stick, I was getting off the driveway, it went into the grass, so it slipped out from underneath me and I just went bam, like a ton of bricks. These are still, so they step up on them, they hold on to them and they put their foot on them. So this is a little bit easier to like kind of get that motion. Well, I say that, I assume it will be a little easier than a pogo stick where you really, really have to balance. This would be really fun. Last year, I also got my kids moon boots. So they kind of look like roller blades. They go over your feet and then the bottom of them is like, bendy like a boat so when you walk with them it's like moonwalking um, those were a big hit and my kids really like those legos um, i've got a fairly big box of legos down here as well as the squares the base plates for building off of almost all of my kids play with legos they love legos it's a great it's like the original open-ended play toy um, and lego sets are great and fun very very expensive and so if you just want to encourage the creativity of building and stuff i do get lego sets uh, for my kids if there's something really specific but um, i also just like to buy regular plain old legos and like go build have fun my kids also love magnet tiles. I'll never forget like two years ago, I said magnet tiles and somebody in the comments of my video was like, well, I can't trust anything else that you say about gifts because you suggested magnet tiles and I hate those things. And I'm like, my kids love them. They still love them. We've had them for years and my kids love magnet tiles. Rosie, especially like even just this year, I ordered her, we added to our collection um, and I ordered her a set of frozen magnet tiles because she just loves them so much. But all of my kids play with them except for my teenage, all of my kids play with magnet tiles. So this just goes to show you that like what one family loves, another family may not. But to me, these are again, all things that encourage like open ended play. One of the last things I wanna mention is this micro kickboard mini deluxe three wheeled scooter thing basically. Here's what I wanna tell you about this is that my children have bicycles. I bought one of my sons this big nice scooter. This is a tiny little scooter that I think is meant for younger kids. Well. My children, my boys specifically, they go with my husband to the dump and sort it and all of that kind of stuff. And what happens inevitably is that my children accompany my husband to the dump to get rid of things. And then they come back with things. Let's see, so far, my son Noah brought back a cassette tape of Martin Luther King's speeches that he found, all kinds of like random toys and stuff. And then a couple months ago it was, they brought back this scooter, this like green scooter. And first of all, I looked at my husband, I was like, what are we doing? Like, why are they bringing home stuff from the dump? That's that's not the purpose. Like, what are we doing? <laughs> Here's what I'll say is that uh, it was a good find because my children are obsessed with it. It's small and they use it in the house. So they have things to write on outside, 
but they all love like making a ruckus in the house, especially when it's dark, it's cold, it's raining or something. I'm talking about like my six-year-olds and my four-year-old. They absolutely fly around my house on this scooter thing. They love it. I put it on here for y'all because my kids freaking love this thing. I thought about buying another one, but then I thought they've already learned to share this one between the three of them. So I don't think I'm gonna add another one to the mix because one is enough flying around my house. But I just wanna tell you that they, they love this thing. They use it every day. I mean, it would be no surprise for you to be in my house for five minutes and just whoosh, see somebody flying by on this little scooter. It's just, it's small, so it's just for the little kids. But I mean, you'll have to pay for yours, but ours came free from the dump. So I'm sorry that I can't pass along the savings to you. Maybe check your local dump if you'd like to find one for free. Of course, there's lots of great books. I love this, um, the 5,000 Awesome Facts, the kids book for elements, I spy books. I've put some of my favorites into my Amazon shop under kids gift recommendations. Uh, so I don't wanna just like sit here and like tell you the titles of books but I've put them in there if you wanna go see some of my recommendations. Those are always great Christmas gifts. I could have kept going and I could share other things with you, but I don't want this video to be too terribly, too terribly long, but please let me know down below in the comments what other gift guide type videos you're looking for. If there's other people or genres of people that you're trying to shop for that you would like some help with recommendations, everything from this video will be linked down below. But, but if you want to see more recommendations for kids, for stocking stuffers for kids, you go to my Amazon shop. Um, if you want to see more gift guides specifically for men, women, garden lovers, weirdos, whatever that may be, then you can also go to my website. I have all my gift guides there as well that are all fully shoppable and stuff so you can see all of my gift recommendations but that is it for me today you guys i will see you again very soon Snowflakes will be falling